welcome to Vital Signs. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Our global look at health and medicine knows no boundaries, and this month we're coming to you from the heart of India's capital, New Delhi. There's no question that New Delhi is a vibrant metropolis. It is also said to be one of the world's oldest cities, more than 5,000 years old, and India is home to more than one-fifth of the world's population. It is dense, it is populated, it is busy, and tourists come from all over the world to see the beautiful marketplaces where you can get just about anything you want. But tourists might be coming to India nowadays for another reason, medical care. People coming from all over the world, the United States, the UK, Nigeria, Afghanistan, in search of long and complicated procedures that they simply can't get at home. In fact, for this reason alone, India is becoming a top destination. We're all dressed and packed and ready to go. People, patients from all parts of the world, packing up and heading here. All in search of the same thing. There's no question that medical tourism is very popular. If you Google it, you'll find more than five million results. $60 billion will be spent on medical tourism this year, and within the next two years, $100 billion. Came here to Max Hospital, we want to find the patients. My name is Sandra Justina. My name is Hamish McLeod. Behind these faces are very different stories. I'm from Nigeria. Home for them is Nigeria, Jordan, the United States, Afghanistan, the United Kingdom. But this is the common ground, a hospital in India, all of them here on the very same day for surgery. But why leave home? Some people don't have access to medical facilities in their own country. Others say they're tired of waiting, sometimes years, for treatment. For most, it is simply cheaper. The patients come here for all sorts of different reasons, but what we know about Sandra is that she absolutely needed to have this operation. It was going to save her life. She came all the way from Las Vegas. Let's go meet her. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Sandra, nice to meet you. Yes. Sandra Gustina has been waiting more than three years for surgery to treat her atrial fibrillation. Until now, she couldn't afford it. She was told she would get a bill for $175,000 in the United States. How much is it going to cost here, Sandra? It will be under, under 10. So $175 versus $10,000. Right. Had you ever left the United States before this trip? Uh, not too much. <laughs> Her story is typical. On average, the cost of some operations can be 10% of what they would cost in the West. So no surprise, some of them are venturing beyond their borders for the first time to get medical care. What they often find is a new culture, a new language, but also a new kind of patient experience, a balance of Western medicine and Eastern hospitality. At this hospital, they're catering to the familiar tastes of home. So what do we have here? We have a, uh, see, Chinese food? We have Chinese, we have, you know, the, the Indian, then we have the continental, and, and of course the Arabic. Arabic food as well. well. Why is this important to have food specific to the different cultures? You know, we have patients coming in from around the world, and you know, when patients are away from home and sick and, you know, away from their friends and families, food is something which really binds them. So they actually look forward to uh, authentic food. Okay, so the food is good, but of course it's the quality of medical care that really matters. I scrubbed in on a few operations while in Delhi to get an inside look. First up, ablation surgery for Sandra's heart. So Sandra, how are you feeling? Good. I'll be glad everything's okay. Have you been a little nervous? No, she's been a little nervous, but she said one of the things that helped her is that her doctor back home has been communicating with her doctor here in India. It gives her a real sense of comfort. You ready to see the inside of your heart? Take a look over here at these images. What you're looking at is her beating heart. The catheters are going in. They're about to do the critical part of the procedure. We'll be back with Vital Signs in just a moment, but we are here in the streets of Old Delhi, and I had to show you something that you hardly ever get to see. A busy city street, lots of marketplaces around, and of course, an elephant simply walking down the street, obviously drawing a lot of attention. But this is what you see on the streets of Old Delhi. <laughs> 